everyone, stand up and let's sing together. Music, please. There is a book that has good news, the Bible is its name. get to heaven without. So, mamamention dito ang Act 16 verse 31. So, if you have your Bible, let's open it to Act 16 verse 31. And it says, And they said, Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved, and thy house. Okay? Ready na? Music, please. Jesus was ministering on earth, he did many miracles and shared the wisdom of God through his teaching. Crowds of people wanted to see him. One of those was Nicodemus. But Nicodemus was a Pharisee, and the Pharisees did not agree with what Jesus was teaching. In the safety of the night, Nicodemus went to Jesus. He wanted to see for himself the wisdom of God that Jesus has. Nicodemus called Jesus rabbi and said that Jesus is a teacher from God because no man can do those miracles except God be with him. Jesus told Nicodemus no one can go to heaven unless they are born again. But Nicodemus did not understand this. Remember that as a Pharisee, he was taught that obedience to the law is the way to God. Besides, how can a man be born again like a baby when he is old? But Jesus wasn't talking about a second physical birth. He was talking about a spiritual birth. He said, That which is born of the flesh is flesh, and that which is born of the spirit is spirit. This confused Nicodemus more, and Jesus knew that Nicodemus was lost. That's why Jesus told Nicodemus that if he cannot believe the earthly things, then how can he believe heavenly things? He asked Nicodemus, 
Do you remember the story of Moses in the wilderness lifting up the brass serpent? Everyone who looked at it was saved. The same way, the Son of Man will be raised up and everyone who will believe in Him will have eternal life. Then Jesus told Nicodemus that God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten, that whosoever believed in Him should not perish but have everlasting life. What Jesus was saying is that Nicodemus needed to be born again. He needed new life, but this life cannot be gained by obeying the law like a Pharisee. It can only be found by believing in the only begotten Son sent by God. And do you know who that is? It is Jesus. Hi children! Was it Jesus amazing? He showed his wisdom as he talked to Nicodemus. Jesus was pointing Nicodemus to receive a new life. And how can Nicodemus receive it? By believing on the begotten Son of God, Jesus. When they talked, Jesus said these verses, John 3, 16 to 17, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son to the world to condemn the world, but the world through him might be saved. And we can receive this new life too. We can be saved by trusting that Jesus died and rose again for us. If you want to be born again, send us a message so that we can share to you the gospel. Let's pray and thank Jesus for coming to this world. Let's pray. Dear Lord and Heavenly Father, we praise and thank you, dear Lord, for coming to this world and for giving your life to us that we might be saved. Lord, thank you for your continuous love, and Lord, forgive us, dear Lord, from all our sins. Lord, I pray and thank you, dear Lord, for giving us teachers that are always available in teaching us your word and salvation. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Bye, kids!